Good morning, everyone. Kevin here. And I want to welcome you to this Gobbler's Roost adventure. I'm back here in my blind day two of my Stone Point deer hunt. Yesterday I saw four deer. One of them was a small buck. Um didn't get a chance one of one of the does was coming in but the wind shifted and she caught my scent so we're back here for day two and we'll see how it goes She was only about 20 yards away. She was going to get on the trail that walked right by the blind right here. And she caught my scent. Oh, well, almost had a shot. She was coming. Well, as you can see by my feather indicator, there's not much wind, but the wind is starting to swirl around down here in this creek bottom. So it's probably time to call it quits for the morning. And hopefully if conditions are right, I'll get back to hunting in the evening. Only saw one deer this morning. It was a doe. But she was on the trail coming into me, and she caught whiff of me just by the slightest little breeze. Oh well, that's the game I'm playing. Thanks for coming along. We'll see what happens next time. Uh, hello everyone. Um, in the previous Stone Point deer hunt video, uh, Bill Ward asked me to explain a little bit about my bow. Uh, it's a really awesome bow. I love it. It's a hot hornbeam bow. Um, I did not make this bow. Uh, normally I hunt with bows that I make, uh, but this bow was a gift um, 
for quite a few years, I would get involved in the the Primitive Archer uh, online Christmas trade uh, on their website. Uh, the users would get together and we'd have a Christmas trade and I'd make a gift for someone and someone would make a gift for me. And this bow was a gift for me from Hunter Bob uh, from Ohio. Um, it's a really awesome bow. He mixed his own finish and put a uh, nice leather, dyed leather wrap on it. Um, I received this bow and I was like, oh wow, this is an awesome bow. And I get it and I strung it up and I, uh, I couldn't pull it back. And I'm thinking, wow, this guy Hunter Bob must be a really, really big, beefy guy. He sent a really nice letter uh, with the bow and it said they shot the bow over a hundred times and that it was a pleasure to shoot. And I'm just struggling to pull it back. Well, his letter also, he must have realized um, that he's a bit bigger guy than most other guys because his letter also said that if I needed to, I could tiller the bow down. Um, so it's exactly what I did. You can see on the back, I, I just put a sealant on there. I didn't put a finish. Um, and Hunter Bob said that he didn't have... A scale so he didn't know what it was pulling I'm thinking wow it was pulling well over 65 pounds um, and I don't have a scale either uh, but I got it tillered down pretty nice and uh, I think it pulls oh maybe about 50 pounds um, I don't know the knock-to-knock -knock length. I never measured it. Um, he put some pretty nice inlays on the tips. The tips are really nice. Um, and as I said, I don't know the poundage, but I believe it's about 50 pounds. It's hot horn beam. And it pulls back really nice. And what I'm shooting, pull this out of here, what I'm shooting is, well, I've been referring to it as River Cane. It's Tonkin Cane. Um, but I'm shooting Obsidian Points. And these points also, I'm not a flint napper. Um, I think it's really cool. I'd love to learn, but... Uh, it certainly is an art, but these points I received also in a Christmas trade one year from uh, Bubby from uh, California, and he sent me oh, six really nice uh, obsidian points along with an obsidian knife. And so I, I thought I'm going to try and kill a deer with these. Um, it's a pretty difficult uh, goal, but and I've spent a couple of years doing it. I've come close in the past years, um, but we'll see what happens. I'm still hunting as it is right now. So, and these... Uh, these river cane arrows, uh, as you can see, it's self dock, backed with deer sinew from uh, a deer I took, and fletched with turkey feathers from a turkey that I got a few years back. So, Bill, I hope that answers your questions. <laughs>